If we had done as much as we had done for COVID around HIV a long time ago, we probably wouldn't be having to have these conversations on the 40th anniversary of the AIDS diagnosis. Fight back and AIDS! Act up! Fight back and AIDS! It was just trying to catch up to people who were dying on a daily basis so fast. We had nothing, we had no treatments, and mostly they were young, ostracized gay men who were sort of shunned from their homes because of being gay and then on top of it getting an HIV diagnosis. What we did learn from HIV is that all the fear that we had up front was useless, right? Because you couldn't get it from looking at someone. You couldn't get it from sharing a plate with someone. And so really taking the time to understand the science and then educate people on the true science, I think has helped with COVID. Fortunately, we had this science to lean on studying HIV virus, all of the things that it encompasses from receptors to all that kind of science stuff that happens in a virus allowed us, I think, to grab more quickly onto what's going on in the COVID virus as well. And so I think it sped up the ability to come up with vaccine and now treatments, right, to prevent death and serious illness. So for sure, it's it's stepping on each other, but that's how science works, hopefully always, right? It's like you learn from the past and you take those lessons and you move them forward. And I think we could also take some lessons from COVID and take them over to HIV as well. What I noticed was a huge movement to get people tested for COVID, drive-throughs and accessibility and lack of stigma around getting a COVID test. Totally cool to get a COVID test. It's never been okay to just go get an HIV test. And if we had mounted more ease in testing for people where they didn't feel stigmatized, shamed, or whatever it is, then I think the goal is to get everyone who's positive onto treatment, right? But there are still many, many people who are HIV positive who don't either know how to get a test, what a test is, or what will happen once the test result comes out. It's because of the persistence and resilience of the HIV community that we've changed so much about uh, the way we approach healthcare research and equitable access to services, even relationship between patients and healthcare providers. You know, and it's because of you, and it's not hyperbole to suggest it, that we are within a striking distance of eliminating HIV transmission. There's a lot of work to be done. I don't want to say that it can't be, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Fight back! Fight AIDS! Act up!